take off. Stand back at a safe distance. Hi everyone, welcome back from our AC Corner YouTube channel and today we are going and for the test flights of our first DJI delivery drones. With me I have a FlightGear 30 drone and the remote controller and the two battery for one flight. So that's basically we will need to do the flight. So uh, yeah, before we fly, I will tell a brief story like first we will have a dual radar. So we have an obstacle button one here and also back side we also have a, the same like obstacle button radar and terrain radar to measure. So this radar is called and likes with our other like aggregate zone before. This radar you can detect and from the 200 meter away. So you can detect the obstacle or anything or any, any man aircraft. You can have all things. So I can even say like dual because this kind of dual, don't, whatever you say, all, everything have dual. Dual radar and dual RTK antenna. And also even the lock, you will see there's a dual. So it will make sure it's tightly locked. And we will have a cargo tank. If you use for the wind system, you will have a, you can install the wind system also. You can also go with a third party payload like robotic arms and any other third party payloads that are also compatible. And we will have a, a parachute system to make sure for the safety. In case of something, the parachute system will automatically turn on. And we have a dual battery port. Of course, you can go with a single battery port, but only for some emergency case, we will suggest you, and we will not suggest you in the normal time. You need to go with a dual battery. That'll be more safer and also more efficient flights. It's the same thing, I, first I will check everything. First I will check the remote controller battery level. It's enough. Okay, that's four bar, it's enough. So I will check it. And then next I will check the antenna and fourth. The same scenario like in Agris. And then we will turn on the battery. So after turn on, you need to make sure the, the flight mode you, you are about to fly. So here I will go for the stick mode. You need to make sure check your stick mode. Okay, first like control stick mode. For me, mode mode one, so I go for the mode one. Like if you go for mode two, yeah, mostly mode two, just go for the mode two. Then after remote controller check, I will check the aircraft. Okay, so first I will unfold the arm. When you unfold, so as a train rotor drone, you need to be careful the, the propeller, and then lock. And you need to check this one is dual. Do a lock, so this is very sure. When you lock, it's very lock, and when you open, you cannot just open. You need to press and open it. Okay, then I will just do the same thing. All the propeller. <laughs> so you need to make sure it's locked, and the cargo belt is here. When you want to carry any cargo should be like 30 kg for the dual battery and 40 kg for the single battery. Of course, single battery, you can go only eight kilometer and for the dual battery, you can go 16 kilometer. So the maximum flight distance for our flight at 30 is 20 kilometer. And after it, you can transfer to another remote controller only. So let's see, just go this and see inside. So any cargo you can carry is inside. We also have a to make sure the center uh, center of gravity, you also have this. Because we use a dual battery, you need to make sure the battery level or two batteries should be same. Check, okay. It's sufficient enough for me. So remember, if you are using, yeah, it should be tightly locked. And go for the another battery. And also, should be tightly locked. You hear the click sound, right? So they have a sensor for the unlock. If you are not locked, of course, you are not allowed to take off for the safety reason. Remote controller check is done and the aircraft check is done. Then I will turn on the aircraft. You just turn on the one battery, shock list and long press. The same like Agra's drone. So it will, should be also turned on here automatically. Okay. See, all the battery and also the parachute battery should be turned on. 
because this is for the safety reason. Okay. So now our drone is ready and we will go. First, we need to make sure the safety distance for most aggress is 6 meters, but for delivery, must be 10 meters away. This is a remote controller screen. The aircraft is already connected. And you need to make sure this one is a normal. If anything abnormal, it will show the, all the parameters here. Okay, now we see the parachutes is on, cargo case, the radar, batteries, everything is working fine because we do not have a wind system and we do not connect to RDK. It's uh, not showing information. So you see all the screen is, uh, is ready. So all the LED is ready. The satellite is enough. The batteries is 100%. And then you see all the clear. Mission is clear. So you can see here. You click you can create a route also for now we will just go for the manual flights so let's see It's very stable. These are center points. It is showing like uh, where do your cargo way go if you are using the wind system. This is now even cargo mode. You can detect where your drone will land there. See, it's exactly to the center points. You can also see there. So as you see now, uh, remote controller batteries and this uh, the whole full flight, but stay 94%. So the battery consumption is not high like uh, in Nagras. That's the reason we are saying you can fly longer and also you can bring like a payload. So these are the benefits your flight get 30 and yes, AGL is like um, the, the real benefit. So for the operation at the different terrain, different condition for the pilot, for the safety reason. So, and also when you see the takeoff time, it is very stable so the drone is a big payload capacity and now we're flying see even the speed move up higher so the signal also very strong the cameras you can rely on the IPV also because the IPV is very clear And uh, let's see the, the flight uh, flight piece is here. So uh, come, you can go for the flight piece. It's fast, 20 meter per second, and uh, the the drone will be very stable. Brake is very gentle. It's not like in the Agra's model. So if you want to use this, you can use this, the target. There's an AGM flight display, we we'll turn on here. Okay, so now I want to put the battery for the delivery box.
consumption, you'll be so much surprised. See, the battery consumption now, I still remain 77%. It's just 23% for the three missions, landing, take off, go and carry, and then come back. The flight speed, I go only five meters per second. Imagine this drone can fly up to 20 meters per second. So, I hope you will enjoy our this test flight video and we will do more testing today we go for the cargo port and we will go for the wheel port and also I want to inform all our customers who already make a pre-order your drone is here everything is ready and see you in the next video